Ciao Coni, figlia mia. Te l'ho già raccontata tante volte la mia storia, ma te la voglio raccontare ancora una volta. Anche se non sei più in terra tra noi, e per i nostri, per i nipotini, e for all my friends in this country, I arrived in 1962 at the age of 19. I finished elementary school. I started work in the fields because we were a family of poor peasants. At the age of 19, I came following the footsteps of your aunt Carmela. On the picture, I made a promise to my parents. The whole family will be reunited soon in a new land. This promise kept me going when I discovered the harsh reality of the newly arrived. There wasn't much work in Melbourne. So, my uncle Tony from Ballarat suggested that I could work on a potato farm with him. I had had some experience in my beloved Calabria. We left for Ballarat in the car of a friend. I still remember it was a tight squeeze, but the four of us managed to fit in. After a three hours drive, we reached this very old farmhouse. We had to watch a step. The floor had only a few boards. I noticed the window had empty potato bags covering them. And I started to laugh, only to be told that the window were broken and that was the only way to keep the cold air. A friend had to return to Melbourne. As he left, I wanted to be back in Calabria, but I remembered my promise. So I picked up some courage, and with tears in my eyes, I sat near the fire. We worked on the field from sun up to sundown for two weeks. I received a letter from my brother Joseph in Melbourne. There was a vacancy. My uncle said to me, tomorrow night you will take the train back, but tomorrow will be a working day as usual. The last day on the farm, it was the longest day. In Melbourne, I started my new job with a spring manufacturing company. I made that promise to work hard, and I did for 38 years, eventually becoming a supervisor. After an injury, the company retrenched me. It was very low point. Married to Maria, we have two beautiful children, Connie and Giuseppe. My family has had many good times and bad, like all the families. Losing Connie was very hard for us. I am one of six children. We kept the family promise and we reunited the family, bring over my mother and father. My life was not only work and family, it was back in the late 70s. I could see groups of Italian people sheltering under shop canopies, killing times and chatting. Together with friends, we formed the Whittlesea Italian Service Committee. Within six months, we had over 600 members. After a long battle, the council granted us a place to meet. I believe it is important to be part of the community. Now I live in Coburg, retired. But looking back, I'm proud of what I have achieved, not to mention potato farms to me. I have fulfilled my promise to myself, my family and my community. Connie, my princess, promise to you is to honor your memory. Ho mantenuto Connie, principes, la mia promessa a te è di fare onore alla tua memoria. Grazie. Thank you.